One of my newest tracks on Spotify have nearly 110,000 streams in about four months. So going from one stream per day to around 1,500 streams per day in less than a year is really cool and it shows what I have been doing is working. A part of this is marketing, but it's not buying botted streams on Fiverr. These are real streams from real people and also, I'm not marketing the track anymore, but it's still getting streams every day automatically without paying anything. And those streams are mostly from Spotify's own algorithmic playlists and discovery mode. And that, that's the ones you usually want to get on. I want to lay out in bullet form what the process looked like for me and how this track is getting where it is today. It is not detailed instructions, but at the end of the video, I will give you some resources so you know where to study further if you want to try this yourself. So you need to have a good track, a track that sits well besides other tracks in your your specific uh, genre. You also have to make several ad videos for your particular track. You should have your own domain name, but you don't need to have a website attached to that domain. You should make an account on toneden.io. It's free and this is where you will host the landing page for your song and this is where your people get directed to when they click on your ad. You should use a Facebook Meta ad account to upload your ad videos and you advertise it mainly to Instagram and Facebook Reels at least as in the recording of this video. I have discovery mode active on Spotify and that also seems to help with people finding my tracks and this is also contributing to my streams and if you don't have discovery mode yet I'm not really sure how you get it it kind of seems a little random but I have heard that you need to release the music through DistroKid to get this feature however discovery mode is not really that important important I think but it's nice to have. I have an affiliate link to DistroKid below and signing up with that will uh, support this channel. So advertising, really? Should you really advertise your music? Shouldn't you just focus on making as good tracks as possible? Upload them to Spotify and wait and see? Because someone once said to you if your music is good enough it's going to happen. Someone will ultimately find your track and you will get a bazillion streams, right? Well, I used to believe that as well. Did you know that over a hundred thousand tracks are uploaded to Spotify every day? That's every day. How do you think people are going to find your music? They don't know about you unless you are some known established artist already. So you need to get your music in front of people that might be interested in it. And one way of doing that, of course, is advertising. It's not the only way. But this is the way I have tried. Now there's a lot of different ways to advertise your music. Myself, I have tried using SubmitHub, getting rejected all the time. I have tried playlist submit submissions using Fiverr and that may give you a sudden boost in your streams and it looks really good in your statistics. But how do you know that those streams are real people and not uh, computers, bots? You don't and they are probably bots. And you also risk losing your Spotify account, actually, if you use some of these kind of shady methods. When that period is over, your streams are back to zero. You have nothing left, really. This doesn't happen if you use Facebook ads because you are getting real people that hopefully stick around on your profile. So I have used the advice of the YouTuber Andrew Southworth and check him out if you want to do this yourself. Tom Dupree is also really good and both have instruction videos regarding this and both have a lot of videos on their channels going into how in the technicalities and in the details how you make ads, how you set it up in Facebook and uh, everything regarding that. So back to the bullet points. Having a good track, what does that mean? A good track is subjective but you need to have your mixing and production process at least near 85 or 95 percent of the professionally produced tracks out there. Search for your specific genre in Spotify and listen how the top tracks sounds like and you should try to aim for the quality in those playlists as best as you can. I have advertised other tracks in my portfolio. This is not the first one and they haven't done as good as the track as I am talking about today. So it can be several reasons for that. It can be ad quality, it can be timing, maybe targeting the wrong audience, but ultimately I think that it's the track's quality is what you're 
makes your ad work or not. And if the track is doing poorly, you, you still get some real followers, you get some saves, you get some real playlist ads. And over time, that's important as well. Not only a lot of streams. So it's not entirely wasted money if your ad is doing poorly, in my opinion. Maybe depending on how much you use, of course. I mean, using money on Submit Hub and getting rejected, that's just money wasted. It's, it's gone. In my opinion, playlist purchasing from Fiverr and in general is also a, a waste of money. You should make several ads for your track and for deep structures i think it's about uh, five uh, different ads the graphic in the ads are the same so this is a uh, vertical video i have made in uh, just a davinci resolve or you can do it in any video editing application it's a vertical video so uh, it fits on mobile devices because we are only mostly advertising for mobile devices i'm using the spotify logo and the cover of the song in the ad I have selected the different uh, 15 to 20 second parts of the track. I might feel that people could be interested in it. And ultimately it's up to Facebook to test these different ads to see how they perform. And that of course costs money. And in the end, the algorithm on Facebook will select the best performing ad. That is why it's good to make the ads using, for example, the intro, the bridge, uh, the chorus, the verse, etc. You never know what part of the song people actually like. In my tracks, people actually tend to like my intros a lot. So that's kind of telling me, hmm, I'm doing work on my intros, but not on the rest of the part. Well, at least it's quite fun to see. So before you start this, you should uh, get your own domain and a dashboard somewhere where you can change some DNS settings on that domain and create subdomains. You don't need to have a website attached to that domain. And there are also some free places where you can get free domains as well. And this also works. Tonden.io. This is the site that hosts the landing page of my track. So this is the site where people end up if they happen to click on your ad. As you can see, here on my landing page the only option I have is Spotify and that is because I want to focus on building my Spotify profile since it's so small but uh, you can add others here as well such as Apple Music, uh, Amazon and other streaming outlets as well it's up to you and what your goals are. You need to have a uh, Facebook meta account preferably a business account where I run the ads but I started out from a regular Facebook Facebook account that works as well so you can just get going but I upgraded it to a business account later on and that worked just fine. You should follow people that have done this. You should not really follow me because I'm not really explaining how you do. I am just uh, showing the results. So I try to follow the advice from Andrew Southworth when it comes to advertising. So you can go and check him out. The link is in the description below. If you want to get more in-depth information on how you do this yourself, he has a lot of free videos on his channel laying out the process. So checking out for more in-depth information on how to actually do this. I have not paid anything to get this information. It's free out there. He has a course so he where he goes into even more details, but I have managed to do this with just watching his free content and understanding what he does. And uh, if you go and buy his course, you can tell him that you came from me. So let's talk about money. I uploaded my first album with 25 tracks in 2017 and uh, basically nothing happens. My mom streams my track and I'm grateful for that and my dad. But uh, other than that, well, probably nothing. Uh, maybe a few friends. Same with 18, 19 and 2021 20, albums are uploaded, a collection of songs and nothing really happens. I get maybe, maybe a few streams here and there nothing to talk about probably an anomaly you know just nothing happens and I have always known that you should invest in yourself and the problem is I just don't know how to get the most out of the money I have because you don't want to lose your money right you don't want to do a bad investment but the thing is you have to try different th things and see how they work and learn what works for you and in that process, you're going to lose a little money, but now I see it more like an investment. I can't count how many times I have done bad deals on car purchases, buying and selling computers, losing money on that in the transactions, parts, gear, music gear, investing in crypto and other stuff. 
losing probably worth of more than tens of thousands of dollars wasted and yet spending a few hundred dollars on an ad is so difficult why is that when you when you gladly can max your credit card to buy a new uh, waldorf uh, quantum synthesizer i haven't done that but i actually thought about it but i'm not going to do that i mean that's five thousand dollars for a synth and then you have a few hundred dollars on an ad i don't know it's it's not that much so how much have i spent on deep structures in total in total i have spent about 300 dollars on advertising on facebook on this particular track uh, it was in about uh, one month or two months i'm not spending anything more on that track today and it's still getting streams. Since its release date, it's gotten almost 110,000 streams when I am recording this video, almost 50,000 listeners, and half of the people listening to this track are listening to more music I have made as well. And I have been added to 2,400 playlists, meaning people are having an intent to listen to the tracks to the track more and 3000 saves and this is since the track was released in March this year. If you look at the source of streams most sources are from the Spotify algorithmic playlists like Radio, Discover Weekly, Release Radar and then later below you can see a few personal playlists. The track has given me more followers as well which is really nice since when you release a new track, your followers will get it in their release radar. So the next track I release will get pinged to the people that like this track. So you kind of see, you don't have to win them back again using ads. You have them in your Spotify profile, at least those who are following you. Not everyone do that, but, but as a percentage actually do so your previous ad have already gotten people into your spotify account and that will benefit when you release music keep releasing music every six week for example releasing singles so this is why i see this like an investment my spotify profile is like an investment portfolio i'm not about getting as much streams as possible in the first week i mean while it's nice to see the statistics and see like you have uh, so many streams uh, streaming right now the most important thing for me is the long term growth of my spotify profile and my bad performing tracks i mean they still get listeners saves and streams so let's say you have used a uh, hundred or two hundred dollars on submit hub not really going anywhere but you have used the same amount or a little more on facebook ads yeah your ad may have perhaps performed poorly but you still have gotten some saves followers and something in return for your money and long term this may be worth more i would rather have 10 real followers than 10,000 botted streams that is not worth anything in the long run this is my opinion anyway, and I want to make this video to just show you at, that I have tried this myself and what kind of results I am getting. And for the track Deep Structures, this is working pretty good. And uh, my other tracks, well, they're not as good, but I'm getting from results from them at least. And I think that I am uh, getting my return on investment on deep structures. I uh, DistroKid have a few months of reporting lag, but it seems like I'm going to get those $300 back pretty soon from that track. And uh, from that, it's just going to keep going for a while. And then I have that track in my portfolio and then I can focus on making other tracks. And, you know, you can build that up, right? And obviously you have to have a good track that people like. That's that's not easy. I'm not saying that is easy. I have a, like 10 tracks and one of them is doing good and the nine others are trash, right? right? It's, maybe it's so for you as well, but you have to try or you don't know. All my life I have heard people say, if you want to get heard, you need to keep producing really good music and eventually at some point it's going to happen. You will hit it big or whatever you would like to call it what you consider big or you should go out as, on some club in your city and network with people there and that's what deadmau says but i'm not a 17 year old 
kid. I'm a, a white 42 year old dude that has a wife. I have kids and I have a mortgage and I have a job. And my, I mean, my wife and I, we go out and eat, I don't know, probably two times a year. And it's not like we're going to a club for, I mean, 18 years old. It, we are just not going to do that. So this is another way of getting your music heard by other people. In the grand scheme of things, I don't think that the investment is that high. Considering what you actually can use money on and how much money you are using. So currently I'm just using, let's say a hundred, two hundred dollars a month just to keep the ball running. My returns from uh, DistroKid is around, let's say 50, I think it's around 50, 60 dollars now. And I of course reinvest that into the Facebook ads so they keep going. And if I have a release of a new track I'm really proud of, I might set aside, uh, let's say four or five hundred dollars for a month and keep the track going for a month using that amount. And then on the month afterwards, maybe reduce that to a hundred dollars or something like that. Let me know what you think about this. And uh, thank you for watching the video. Goodbye.